Good evening, it's Phoebe here. Um, you're watching Nigeria in London TV. We're in Charing Cross and it's Christmas Eve and what better time to give back to the community. As you can see, it's very, very busy here and it's cold as well. We're here to feed the homeless. So come with me and let's speak to Lolo to find out what inspired her to join this charity. Okay, so I'm here with Lolo. Lolo, thank you so much for having us. And um, yeah, well done for starting this charity. Tell us more about it, please. Right. Um it actually started because I met my step on the street. I was once homeless, okay. so I understand how it is to be homeless. And we have been doing this for quite a while now. Um, we, we kind of choose the festival period, like Easter period and Christmas. But in the last year, we've decided to take it on another level. So we tend to come out twice in a month to feed the homeless, the beginning of the month and the end of the month. You know, and yeah, it's been very challenging, but it's um, rewarding. We're loving what we do. Um, the homeless people here knows that we, we come here twice in the, in the month, so they are always looking forward to seeing us. So it's been a privilege for me. And it's obviously Christmas time, you know, charity time, a time to give back to the community. How has your relationship with the homeless people and the food you give, is it? Well, for me, yes, Christmas is a, you know, Christmas is a time when people come out and give. But well, I look beyond Christmas period. Mm -hmm. What happens in January, February, up to December? So, you know, uh, Christmas is obviously a time when people feel guilty and they come out and share the Once love in a while. exactly <laughs> but you know this is a love that needs to be shared all year round every day i'm hoping and praying that we can take this to another level by doing it every week and like i said currently we're doing it twice in a month but you know hopefully by god's grace and if we can find funding and if people can keep supporting and we can take it to another level and start providing food for the homeless weekly and what type of food do you give to these people? Um, from my experience, we, we normally do rice. We do jollof rice, fried rice, fried chicken, grilled chicken, barbecue chicken with stew. And I cook based on the things they want to eat. Okay. So we realize that a lot of people like the stew, the chicken, the rice. Tonight's menu is white rice with spring onion and barbecue chicken. Oh. With, stew, with stew, yeah. I've actually had some, it's very nice. Oh, thank you very much, thank you. <laughs> so are you the cook? The, the I am the chef, yes. Okay, yeah, okay. I am. And I see that it's a family affair, you got your girls and your husband here and, and everybody's, boys, yeah. and your boys, yeah. yeah. So how do you manage to get everybody together to come out? Well, they know it's something I'm passionate about. Okay. I, you know, when it comes, you know, feeding the homeless, I'm very passionate about it. And they have actually taken that passion to art because they go out on the street and come back and say, oh, mom, guess what? I had to give my lunch money away Aww. because I saw someone on the street. I said, oh, well done, you, you know. You've been stealing yeah. from the early yeah. age. But um, this is something I have, my father did when I was a child and as a baby. Okay. My um, father fed the whole of Lagos, I'll say, you know, okay. every Friday. Okay. I come from a Muslim background. And he fed, he fed everybody in Putemeta, you know, and that was every Jamaat day on Friday. But for me, it's because I, when I came to this country, I was homeless. I've slept on the street, so I know what it feels to be on the street. It's not nice at all. It's not. And you don't judge people yeah. for staying on the street because everybody's story is different. It's different, exactly. Everybody's circumstance is different. I think this is one of the best nights that we've not cried because normally I'll chat to people, they tell me the life history. I'm meant to be comforting them and I'm crying. Aww. You know, but tonight I said, we're just going to come out here tonight, rejoice, eat with people. And every time we come out, we tend to eat with them. Yes. So yes. you can see all my children are eating yeah. right here. Yeah. So just to make them feel that they are human Part and of, yeah. any, yeah. And anybody can be where they are as well. So I think 
think that's actually very, very important because when they see you eat, mm. then they know it's quite comforting, it's safe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you can eat it, I can yeah, eat it, course. and then we all can eat that's it. Right. And that's, then more that's, people will feel yeah. confident that, oh, yeah, it's nice. Exactly, you know? yes. Yeah. You know, but it's just, it just makes them feel happy as well that we bought the food, we're eating with them, we're chatting. Yes. You like know, a family thing. Yeah, like a family thing. So. And um, yeah, finally, do you have any message for anybody watching right now how they can start something like this, you know, if they want to? Maybe they've been thinking about it and not sure how to actually stick a step. It's, um, you have to have a passion for this. I'm passionate about this. Left for me, nobody's going to be on the street. Left for me, I'll, feel, I'll feed the world. Because I love, number one, I love to cook. I don't like people going hungry. You know, my door is always open to my friends and family. People visit me because they know there's always food in the house. Do you understand? Yes, you know. So I would say to people, if you want to start this, you need to be passionate about it. It needs to be something that you are truly passionate about because God sees the art. Yes. You know, and I am passionate about this. And that, like I said to you, if I found funding, funding and if people can come out and support, we will do this weekly. Okay. You know. So maybe you should give a message to people out there watching how they can support you. If you have a website, you can give it to us and we can put it out there. If people can, um, I would like people to connect with us at Lolo Catering. Okay. Um, you can support in any way. And when, when I mean support, you don't need, it doesn't have to be cash. Come out here and help. Yeah. Understand? Offer to come and cook you your time. Yeah. You can give a bag of apple. Mm -hmm. You know, you can give cutleries in a pound shop, serviettes, mm -hmm. cups. Mm -hmm. You know, come and make a t cup of tea to someone. You know, tell someone it's going to be cool. It's going to be all right. You yes, you know, cheer people up. And it's, you don't need a lot of money. You don't need hundreds of pounds to to help this project. We just need genuine people, people who are passionate about this and people who are godly, yes. who are not just doing it for the fun of it. Do you understand? Because it's something I'm actually passionate about. You know, and that's it really. We we really need genuine people, people who want to love another person, you know. Okay, um, so any special thanks you want to give a shout yes. out to anyone in the past, future that supported you? My, my partner. My partner. What's his name? His name is Aki. Aki. Yes. He's my rock. He's my rock. He's my friend. If not for him, this is not going to continue because, you know, it's such a funny thing because he has an envelope and it, he has an envelope in the house and he writes the homeless. Um, he, he puts the homeless on, he writes the homeless on it and every day he comes in, he puts about five pounds, ten pounds, five pounds, you know, and that's actually helped me carry on and a big thank you to my beautiful daughter and to my four boys they know that i'm very passionate about this and they're not they don't take anything for granted so i am so grateful to god for my family yes thank you and that's it it's about family time so enjoy your christmas lola it's been a pleasure thank, thank you, you so much. much and keep doing the good work we're all behind you thank you very much god thank, bless. You. thank, thank you. you thank you thank you so I'm here with Rashid. Rashid, Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. God bless you, everything and every time. Rashid, Hallelujah. Tell, me, tell yeah. me, what are you doing here today? I do here and be homeless about one year now, one year time. Okay. Yeah. Did you have some rice? I, I find some rice, nice rice, like African food. You like it? Too much. <laughs> Do you come here all the time? Last six months, yes. Okay. Tell us your story. How come you're homeless? Because I lost my job. Oh. I love my wife and my children. That's why I've been like that. Where are your family? Why my family? It's everywhere in the world. The whole world is your family. Like, where are your family now? I want lost my children and my, 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 children and my wife. I don't have any contact for nobody. And I don't want. Okay. That's all. Okay. So what do you want to say to the lovely lady that's giving you rice today? Thank you very much for that. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. Bless Hallelujah. You. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the homeless people, the food, everything. Everything. Merry Christmas. 
You've been watching Nigerian London TV. My name is Phoebe Daudu and it's Christmas time. So we're here to wish you a very, very happy Christmas and a very, very prosperous 2016. I remember Christmas time is for giving. So when you're not busy in your spare time, do come down and support the movement that is going on here. God bless you and Happy New Year.